Hey there, my name is Daniel and in this video I'm going to show you the process of my recent street painting of Batman vs Poison Ivy. So let's get right into it. So a friend of mine asked me to do a painting together and we decided to draw something from DC Comics. I painted Batman on the right and she painted Poison Ivy on the left. For me it all started with this sketch I did on paper and turned into this digitally to serve as a base for my painting. I still somewhat like it better than the final result, but whatever. We started in her garage and laid down the basic sketch. Right here we are in our hometown and did a live painting of it and threw around some color. At least she did and I well, started with uh, black and white like I do most of the time. I think black fits Batman very well as a character and a, a motive basically. And it automatically gives it this comic book feel because a lot of comic book art uses a lot of black color. By the way, if you like superheroes and drawing and painting, definitely hit the subscribe button for my channel and as well as the uh, bell notification on the right so you don't miss any future videos of mine. Color-wise, the general idea was to use this color palette. Obviously the red tones are mostly in Poison Ivy's hair and the turquoise tones are in the leaves around her. My Batman uses mostly black and dark grey tones, but I tried to pick up the turquoise color in his cape you will see soon how I try to do that. Apart from that I just used a yellow tone for the bat symbol and a skin tone obviously like my friend on the left did too. And right here I'm outlining the bat symbol in this yellow tone like it is in the modern comics where it's just a black bat symbol with a yellow outline. Looks pretty neat to be honest. Uh, here I'm trying to fill in the cape with a dark tone. It's obviously a bit too dark for my taste. In a few seconds I'll try to brighten it up again with a brighter turquoise stone. By the way, generally the lighting situation is a normal light from the left and a very bright light from the right. That's why a lot of places on the Batman are left white to symbolize or to show that there's a very bright light from the right, a backlight or side light in this case. Right here I'm filling in the torso with a dark grayish color. and. Now I'm trying to brighten up with a brighter turquoise in the cape. Right here we're back in her garage because I didn't really finish the painting in time. And I wasn't really that happy with it, especially with the right side. That's why right here I'm painting it, over painting it with white. And trying to do it again in a better way. Well, I'm not really happy with the end result. But I tried my best. What I also did here is uh, added a few more details and shaded the mouth part and the skin and just a few minor touch-ups here and there. And that's about it for this painting. That's what it looks like. If you like this, share it on social media and also make sure to watch my Joker Street painting right here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.